The frequency distribution below represents frequencies of actual low temperatures recorded during the course of a 31-day month. Use the frequency distribution to construct a histogram. And do the data appear to have a distribution that is approximately normal? So here are your classes, and you can see that we have class A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Here's our frequency. We start at 1, go to 2, 7, and then 12, 6, and then 1, and then 2. Okay, so what's happening here? Well, it starts low, it starts kind of increasing higher and higher to 12, and then now it's decreasing down back to a lower frequency. Okay, now, before we choose our histogram below, we need to know what the definition of a histogram is. Well, remember that histograms are bar graphs that shows our frequency where the bars are actually touching each other or they are adjacent. So if you take a look at C and B, we only have to rule those out because the bar graph bars are separated. Those are bar graphs. So A and D are going to represent the histograms. Now, which one do we choose? Well, let's take a look. Well, it starts out low in part A and then increases to 2, 7, and then 12, back down to 6, 1, and then 2. If we look at D, it doesn't match any of those. So it looks like A is going to be the answer. Okay, now we need to determine, do the data appear to have a distribution that is approximately normal? Well, it looks like we can put, draw a bell curve. And that bell curve is going to show that it's approximately normal. So we would say, yes, it is approximately normal. 